Howdy everyone, I'm under this 05 Nissan Frontier. This one came in intermittent ABS light on. It's not on now. It has a C1105, C1101, and a C1203. And it looks like it's the right rear sensor. I think it's RRRH. I'm guessing rear right hand, rear right hand, rear left hand. So I've got the scope connected in. What's funny is I've got channel one and two on the right hand, and that one's actually that one actually looks better than this one on the left hand. Uh, channel three is my blue one. I can see it's got a square wave, but it's doesn't have the amplitude of of uh, channel two. So it actually looks like the left hand one doesn't have as good a signal for whatever reason. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm even looking for on these. This is the first time I've connected into the uh, uh, rear speed sensors on these rear ABS sensors. And it says uh, going, each one's about 23 miles an hour, a little over 23. So that all, that all looks good. Wiggle the sensor wire and see if I can get it to drop out. I want to stay away from that drive line. Okay, so check this out. I think I've found the issue. I'm grabbing the wiring up in here. The wiring runs up along this right frame rail and then it kind of branches on this spar. See if you can see this. I'm gonna reach up there and kind of pull on the wiring. And then uh, my speed drops out here. At the same time. Look at it change the the height of the square wave by doing that. Yeah, it's somewhere up in there. Maybe when I correct the problem, it'll look more like this. Because now it's actually gotten bigger. Same thing here, my speed on the right hand. All flaking out and dropping out. Well, looks like um, I found out where the problem is, or at least in the general area. It's in the wiring. That's going to be a fun one to get up in there and find out exactly where the wires are broken. 
Yeah, this one's flaking out on the bottom of the pattern. Up in there somewhere. Yeah, that one's gonna really suck. I don't know. I'm even gonna get out that wiring. If I grab it over here and see what happens. Could be anywhere in here. I've pulled this harness that runs all the way up to the front out connector and it's got a bunch of clips that hold it into the frame and I've pulled this tape off right where this um, sleeve kind of joins the main harness and I saw a bunch of water and green corrosion in it and it almost looks like the wire is Got corrosion right there. Let's see if it stretches. And it does. So there's there's the problem right there. And this sits up above this uh, uh, cross member and I wasn't able to get the harness all the way out so I, I just kind of snaked it back as far as possible and looped it and uh, yeah that's going to do it right there right where that protective shield meets the main harness okay I got this all repaired uh, I went ahead and cut both the wires and spliced in a small section and soldered it in and uh, put some heat shrink around it and then taped the whole thing up. Looks really good. Um, never really know what repairs done in there. I just got to snake this wiring back where it belongs. It's been easier to take the whole thing out but couldn't get that between the cab and that cross member gonna fit back in there nice well let's see how we did we'll just turn on two channels and just check this right side I'm curious to see if this pattern has changed. And hopefully it works and there wasn't another crack in there that I didn't find. I guess we're going to find out. Tires moving so slow. Trigger on one. Okay, the right uh, rear says eleven point eight one. And the left rear is 18. 
still the differentials the loft from one side to the other they're starting to almost match each other yeah it looks like my pattern now is really similar that definitely fixed it up though okay real quick uh, I think I figured this thing out how this works so what it is uh, we have what 13.27 volts and it's measuring the AC signal on top of that DC voltage and to see that uh, so it doesn't come in very clear here of course they're both working both the sensors are working so um, you'll come in here we're going to turn our AC coupling on and then we'll go down to like 500 millivolts to see that And there we can see this, this signal that's riding on top of that 13.3 volts. Let me see if I can pull my trigger down on it. I don't know why the trigger ain't moving. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Let's... Uh, bring it down to 500 millivolts there's my trigger being stubborn pull it in there so we can stabilize that pattern so now I've got it triggered yeah that's how it works so hey learn something new every day okay everyone thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video